All right, guys, welcome back to the channel once again. And today we are going to see how we can configure the editor.js into our React repository. I have already created this React repository into my system, and you can see it's running successfully. If you haven't created it, so you can do npm create React app and your app name, whatever you want. In my case, I have put uh, my editor. I'm just going to do a step by step, and this is our first tutorial on editor.js. So, get started. So, first, we are going to do a step by step process. So, install the editor.js. So, I'm just going to copy this command. So, let me open another terminal over here and paste it. Let it be installed, and after that, we're gonna see how we can configure this. In the meanwhile, if it is installing, let's uh, do some configuration. So, I'm just going to create a component folder over here. You can see it has been installed so now let's move towards and see what it says to do so we're just going to copy this line so before going that actually we are working into the react repository so let's uh, before typing this line just do r e f c okay and type editor okay type props over here copy that paste that line over here not there over here okay so you can see our editor instance has been installed this is the editor initializer like we were doing into the grape.js initialization when we were doing grape.js.init so same thing we have to do over here and into this empty bracket we have to write the configuration so this configuration will come over here and we have to create Okay, so whatever we are initializing make sure whatever the name you will put over here select a name so that should be mentioned inside this configuration okay so i'm just going to put this name editor okay and let's see the tutorials once what it says next so we have done this and okay so you can see editor js it's showing editor js okay whether you can do like this or whether you can do it like this so we just gonna copy this one folder and we will write the configuration step by step so in our case we have put the name of that uh, selector is editor so we just going to do that okay so no need to worry and let's see is it running fine or not all right guys so you can see the plus icon has started coming over here when we configure this editor okay okay so you can see it's getting fine and now if you click on this so you can see right now it's showing text so text element comes default with the editor and apart from that if you have something else so you can add over here like multiple blocks if you want to add so you can add it so there's some apis are over here block selection to bar sanitizer carrot listener saver so these are the apis that you can use they they have their own methods and multiple callback function that you can use so this is the first tutorial so i'm just going to show you like how we can save the data and render the data so let's copy this function on ready okay and just paste it over here inside the configuration part let's suppose if you want to check whenever your editor is ready so it should throw some message or you want to perform some action so you can do inside this let's see inside this so you can see editor js is ready to work whatever the text was written over here inside this console you can also write this like write it like this whether you can write it inside the configuration or whether you can write it over here like this if editor dot is ready then you can do these promises and uh, get the response is it throwing error or is it ready okay so there are several methods that you could try now if you have done any modification inside your editor so you can just call this function so you can put inside this editor.js over here okay whenever you will do any changes inside the editor so it will automatically show you like this change you have done or you want to perform some action inside this callback function so you can show you can do this right now the text block is coming default over here if you click on this so if you want to change that default block so you need to write the name of that block over here okay and gonna be changed so you need to assign that block first inside the tools and after that you can see that and you need to assign that uh, tools key the the 
tools key whatever the first tool you have assigned the tool key you can assign it over here and it will automatically find that default block okay so auto focus true you get set uh, which means whenever you will put this it will automatically focused over there you don't need to find it so you will see it's already focused over here and you are getting the cursor over here that like you can type anything so this means this is auto focus it's not fully customized like create cheers so that's the thing that we need to take care of and it also gives you data not in the format of html it saves the data inside into the format of uh, your uh, block like object it will provide the object when you try to save the data so let's uh, these are some access part like if you want to make it readable only or writable so you can just use these th these functions and you can write it so these are the tools part like whenever we will start adding the tools so then i'll show you how it works and let's move to the save data okay saving data so into the save data you have to use this callback function editor.save just copy it and paste it inside this uh, index.js so i'm just going to create a function on save map so whatever the output data will be it will show you inside the console okay and let's create a button over here after this okay. whenever i will click on that button so it will show you the data what data has been saved all right so whatever i'm going to type it over here so you can see it will show you when you click on save so you can see some blocks are coming over here inside this article data and let's open it and inside these blocks you can see i have wrote the three lines so it saves the data line by line whatever in one line whatever you have written it will come over there and will show you so whatever the type you have given so type is paragraph and text whatever you have written so text will come like this okay id and type it will show you like this and data would be text if you have put any image so image will it will come inside the image so it will show you the type by type whatever comes inside a one line so there are three lines has been written so it will show you the three lines it's kind of input boxes there that it in that you write and save the data so you can just edit it and save it so if you have to see this data inside your uh editor prefilled so you just need to copy this object copy this object and just uh, go inside the editor configuration and over here like you can just put the data okay. inside the data just pass it and let's see is it coming prefilled or not all right so we can see whatever we have pre-filled already whatever we provided into inside the configuration so it's already coming as a pre-filled and we can also add some more data inside this and we can save it so you can see number of array inside inside the blocks keys you can see the array number of elements inside the block is getting increases so as much as data you will write over here so it's gonna be increases so i hope you guys have understood like how we can configure this editor part and how we can implement these things so you can see you can click on the text and you can make it link type we can do plenty of things like if you click on this if you click on this so you, it should work it's not configured yet but yeah it should work you will get some uh, actions as well you can delete the text or whatever it is so it's a kind of input field in which you write the text and just move to the next line that's kind of thing you can do so that's it from this video and in the next video i will show you how we can add the multiple blocks that will start coming over here if you click on this plus icon so right now it's coming text but uh, when we add some more blocks so it will start coming like image header and uh, some more blocks will come it's very straightforward and easy easy to configure but if you are new to this so then it gonna be a little bit complicated to you may make this configuration so then tata bye bye and i'll meet you in the next video